Hello, my name is Ann Brock. <clears throat> I'm a pre-sales resource here at Right Start. And today I wanted to take you through creating an article using Helix ITSM Knowledge Management. As you all know, Helix ITSM does come with a robust set of processes for incident problem, change, asset, etc. One of the key ones, of course, is knowledge management, because as you build up knowledge, you're going to be able to reduce tickets and keep information in the organization even as people move around. So we're going to start off. I'm here in Smart IT. In this case, I'm looking at the tickets. I'm going to go up to my console and look at my knowledge console. I've created a, a view here because this is a demo system of all articles since March 2021. Oops, did not mean to go into one. But the, um, of course, you can create additional views and have them available for people or people can create their own views. In this case, I want to create a new knowledge article, so I'm going to go to Create New Knowledge. You'll see there are a set of templates. These are the out-of-the-box out of templates. You can create additional template formats if you need to. But I'm going to go with the how-to template. They all work pretty similarly, just have different fields on them. I'm going to do one about uh, getting an error. Now, some of the things I can do in here I'm actually going to jump down to answer for now because I want to show pasting in the screen print and because I can't actually remember the name error number. So I'm going to go ahead and copy AR error 9350 and put that graphic into here. So I have it available. Getting an error, AR error 9350. And I can go ahead and recopy that into the question field and say, what should I do? So down here, I went ahead and copied that graphic in just to show how easy it is to put place an image in. Of course, there's an image box up here if you want to insert an image, and do some image properties. So I just copy and pasted it in, much easier that way. Another thing that I have in here is something from a knowledge article that BMC has out, has out there, and just pulled a section of it. Your knowledge articles would be probably more interesting I'm going to paint just plain text, but you can see up here I could bold it if I wanted to. Maybe I just want to bold the top line. I have a lot of text controls up here that I, I can do. Now, one of the things I want to show over down here is also show about pasting in a video. So I'm going to go over here to Right Star TV. I have a video not at all related to this error, but it is a video. I'm going to go ahead and copy that video link. I'm going to come up here to this little icon and click it and go ahead and paste in my YouTube video here. Get a few controls in here that you can see, but I just pasted it in. I'm keeping it simple for myself. And now I have a video as part of this knowledge article. So I can continue to build out this article. I continue to put in more text, more pictures as I want to, and get it all out there. But over here now, I want to focus on the article metadata, because this is another very important part of knowledge management. Who gets to see this? It could just be a specific company, and it could be everyone, or again, groups. I'm going to choose everyone. And I am going to publish this to external audiences, and that way it's visible to everybody on the portal, although this one is probably not one your end users would normally be searching for. But if you were an end user of BMC, you would be so it would be available to the external audiences. I'm going to go ahead and assign it to me into my service desk group. I'm logged in as Beth. And you can see here I could even add key keyboards if I wanted to. Uh, maybe I'll put in 9350. And um, incomplete, that's another word that's in there. I don't know. The word's already in there, so I don't really need it as a keyword. But again, that's how you can add keywords. Now here I can pick a particular company, and I did everybody, but I could narrow it down again to a particular company, particular organization. And then these are just some information that gives me more details about this. If it applies to a particular business service, I might want to go ahead and put that in. I might want to categorize it. I don't have to, but these are available, and these can be very useful for reporting and for searching if you're looking for all articles related to a business service, for example. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit this. We do follow the KCS standards. So right now it's sitting in progress. 
it has not entered any kind of authoring process yet. And progress in this case means I'm still working on it. Maybe I'm still doing things with it. I don't need other people to see it. When I'm ready to go ahead and put it into the authoring process to eventually get published, I move it into draft. Save it. And now it's in draft. And if needed, appropriate people have been notified. The out of the box status changes are what you see here. I can move them one by one. I can add additional statuses if needed. I personally don't like a lot of statuses, and I personally just like to go ahead and publish them. There is a theory that goes that you publish everything, and then you come back and review the ones that get used a lot. Uh, probably in most organizations, we want at least an SME review before we publish it. But because I work in demo systems, I'm going to go ahead and move it to publish approval. But in a normal world, I would have at least one status that it goes through for somebody to review. But again, demo system, I'm going to go ahead and move it to publish approval. Now, what this status does is a, possibly one of two things. If, there is a, if the approvals are set up for that, it will go ahead and send it through to an approval process. And it will go ahead and notify the right person. They could come in. And maybe that's your main review step. It's just the approval step. But you can see now this got sent straight to published. And that's because in my configuration, under approval chains, I have enabled, not the easiest thing to see here, I'm sure, the ad hoc for publish rule. If I go ahead and open that up, um, it would set to enable. I've got the wrong one there. I didn't want the ad hoc. I wanted the auto approval for published. I said the wrong thing there, but that's okay. You can understand I get all the rules here start looking like after a couple hours. This auto approval rule is actually the one I have enabled. And that's the one that if it's enabled, will automatically approve it. If you did want to go through an authoring process or an approval process, you would want to put that one back into in process and maybe make this level one enabled. And then it will go through the authoring or the approval process. But in that case, you also have to make sure you have people set up as approvers for the groups that these articles are assigned to. I didn't want to do that. All my articles go to approval, so I'm good there. But just know there is an approval process available if you do want to use it. When I came into this demo system the first time and I was creating a knowledge article, it kept going back to draft. Whenever I moved it to published approval, it went to draft. And I found out the problem was, is that indeed my auto approval rule at that point had been disabled, the level one had been enabled, and I did not have anybody set up as an approver. So I changed those on this demo, this demo system, and now these articles get published immediately. Okay, now we want to go ahead and see in the self-service portal what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and come into Digital Workplace. Still logged as in as Beth, but again, I made this available to everybody. So this would be pretty similar on to whoever is logging in. I'm going to go ahead and search for that article. And boom, I've got that knowledge article available. I've got the uh, screen print here. I can play the video right from within here. I'm not going to do that right now, but that is available on Right Start TV if you do want to learn about major incident management. Okay, so what I have showed you is the process of taking an article, going ahead and authoring it, putting in a image, putting in a video, and then publishing it. There's a retirement date we can put on articles. We can also retire them. Those kind of things can happen. You can also set up versioning and other things. But didn't want to get into those today. Today, I just wanted to show successfully doing a knowledge article within ITSM Knowledge Management. For those of you looking for out-of-the-box knowledge packs, BMC does have a solution, um, Helix Knowledge Management by Comaround. That includes uh, out-of-the-box knowledge packs and has a lot of extra features for knowledge management. But today I wanted to show you what is included in the Helix ITSM. Thank you.